Check this out, guys. Lego Jeep. I got it. I posted not that long ago, seeing if it, if you guys thought I should buy it or not, and the votes were a resounding no, absolutely not, don't buy it, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, how could I not buy this? Look at this. It's a Lego Jeep, the first official Lego Jeep. So I did buy it, but um, it wasn't like necessarily my fault. If I was going to describe the scenario of what happened, it basically went like this. I shouldn't. Do it. It's not the Jedi way. Do it. Yeah, and then after that, he gave me $50, told me to go buy the Jeep, and so I did. I mean, how could I not? Because it's awesome. So, thank you. Thank you, Bruce, for the Jeep. The Lego Jeep. It is awesome. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it now. Alright, so, so much to catch up on. I have not been vlogging for I don't even know how long. I don't remember the last time I made an actual vlog because there hasn't really been much to vlog about, Continue I guess. On West like, for example, I did not sleep last night, just to give you an example of stuff I've been doing. Sleeping is not one of the things I've been doing. I have not slept all night. My restless In leg syndrome line. is Turn killing right me. North Midkiff Road. Shut up, maps. I just need to know how to get to the UPS store. I have to return the light. My dad, the LED lights that my parents got me for my birthday, I think is what inevitably caused the fire in the Jeep. Don't ask how, I don't understand it either. I have the new ones with me. Turn right onto North Midkiff Road. Shut up, map. Okay, so I have the new ones with me, but I have to return the old ones and I haven't yet. I haven't even like touched the new ones. I'm living like a midlife crisis. Everything's a mess. In fact, if I drink, I'd probably always be drunk. As far as things to update you guys on, um, I already made the video about Kai, which sucked. I also am filming in this car right now because I know that the audio is going to be better because I filmed Kai's Continue video in the coffee. North Midkiff Road for Shut three up! Of a mile. Shut up! I already filmed the video about Kai inside of the coffee shop and the background noise was awful. Like you can just, so many people were talking and it's just way too busy, way too crowded. I like the environment in there, but it is very noisy with everybody in there is talking. So. Sounds like a school cafeteria. So I probably won't be filming in there as opposed to what I originally planned on because it seems like apparently even at six o'clock in the morning, it's still very busy. So in case you guys have not seen yet, I have an official logo. Bruce, I feel like I talk about Bruce in every single video. Not only did he buy me, shut up! Not only did he buy me the Lego Jeep, he also designed the logo for me. I now have an official logo, which means I now actually have official merchandise. Shout out! I have official merch. I will be putting it in, I think it's already, yeah, it's already linked in the description. I am going to buy some for myself. I'm just waiting to make sure I'm actually financially stable before I do that. On top of our having merchandise, I actually- Turn right, then turn left. My gosh. The map almost had me drive off that curb in this BMW. In my Jeep, it would have been nothing. In this BMW, I probably would have bottomed out. Head south. Now I'm trying to back up one-handed. One-handed driving bandit over here. <laughs> Returning lights. Getting them out of my hands. I don't want anything to do with them. It's out of my hands now. We're good. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I really gotta pee, I'm gonna go to Best Buy. <laughs> okay, so I came here specifically to buy an adapter. I got a DJI Mavic action camera from Bruce for Christmas, and because it has a front-facing camera, I'm gonna try to use that more as like a backup camera for like if I'm doing like hiking or something, I don't want to take this big hunking thing with me, but I still don't want to get just terrible, you know, sucky sucky stuff. I already tested it out and the video quality seems pretty decent, but the biggest problem is the audio. The audio sucks. So I was trying to find this adapter, even though it's like 35 bucks, I think. I was gonna try to find it, but they don't carry it in stores. However, they do have this thing. This is 10 bucks and I think it'll work. I tried to Google it to find out, but my phone reception is not working like at all. I even connected to their Wi-Fi, so I don't know if it's 
my phone or what, but connected to the Wi-Fi and with my LTE in a Best Buy, it's not working. So nothing's loading, so I can't figure out if this will work or not, but it's 10 bucks and I don't see why it wouldn't work. So we're gonna try it and see if it works. Now that I have your attention, so I've actually had a lot of people who have wanted to support me, but usually they ask me like how they can support me or like how my different systems work. So I had a GoFundMe, but I, I still have the GoFundMe up, but I just feel like it's kind of weird. So I took it down, I'm swapping it with just regular PayPal. So my PayPal should be linked in the description. So if you wanna make single donations, it's down there. Although I highly suggest people use Patreon. And the reason why is because I just feel like it, I could be wrong about this. I personally think it's easier. If you do Patreon, what you end up doing is spending up to a minimum of $3 or more depending on how much you're willing to give a month. So instead of, for example, giving me just $20 off the bat, which is great by the way, like that's happened to me a few times and like I don't, I'm not against it or anything, but basically the reason that I'm more for Patreon, it kind of sets it up more as like a, um, more like a paycheck. So I get like a paycheck every month. Right now I make almost $100 off, off of my Patreon supporters. I have people supporting me everywhere from $25 a month to a few that only support $3 a month, but like every dollar counts. Really, if you think about it, if you had 100 Patreon supporters that each only gave you $1 a month, that's such a small amount to the individuals. $1 a month is not a lot, but to me, if I had 100 of those, that's $100 a month, so it adds up because you actually get exclusive content. Um, that I actually update a lot of people on Patreon about stuff that even like these videos I'm making right now Pretty much everything I'm updating you guys on right now in these videos All of my Patreon supporters knew about long before I made these videos because I try to keep them posted on any news that's going on And um, I try to give them exclusive content, you know kind of more deep information into my life and stuff like that Highly suggest you support on Patreon if you want to like see all that stuff or get updates on how what's going on in my life You know why I'm not updating recently or what's been going on just little things like that Another reason though is because I recently got merch. I am actually offering 30% off all of my merchandise For all of my patreon supporters um, It just makes it easier for me to kind of benefit the people who support me in a unique way that other people can't get so if you're really a fan and you want to try to support me and you also want to get exclusive content and discounts, definitely suggest supporting me on Patreon. I found out that some people have like had trouble finding where my links are, so recently what I've been doing instead is putting my Patreon link at the end of my videos, right next to where it says subscribe and other things like that. So yeah, this is probably very dangerous the way I'm driving right now, but it's okay. And of course, not to forget what the channel's all about, the Jeep. Still is rough around the edges. I have not even touched it in forever because unfortunately brakes still need fixed. Um, I still have my supporter who's going to help me with a windshield but I can't get it to a shop to fix the windshield until I get the brakes fixed. Reason is because we're in Midland, Texas. I don't even know if I'm going to pay someone here to get the brakes fixed. Changing the windshield in Midland, Texas is probably going to be $400, so I want to, I, I guess I could call around, but either way, brakes need fixed before I drive that thing anywhere. I'm going to like carefully drive it to wherever I'm going to get the brakes fixed, and then from there, get the brakes and muffler fixed. It's probably going to be the same shop, assuming it's a good price. Just get that knocked out, be safer on the road, and then right after that, go get the windshield fixed. The only thing after that that I know that it needs is a transfer case rebuilt. It's like a hundred something dollar kit, but I have to find someone with a jack stand and stuff to drop it. Either way, should be fun. Um, I have to sleep because I haven't slept all day and it's like one o'clock, which means I've been awake for like 30 hours. Back home, or at the RV, it's kind of tipsy on its side, and for some reason, water is draining out the back, so I can only turn water on when I need it. So, like when I leave, I turn it off. Um, when I'm here, I try to leave it off, like um, um, unless I'm using it. So, like in the morning, I turn it on and stuff till I leave, so I can like go to the bathroom, wash my hands, or whatever, and then I turn it off. Or like I'm here right now, but I turn it off because I already went to the bathroom and stuff, so I'm okay. It's just weird. Ugh. I got sushi. I'm trying to 
eat healthier. It hasn't been going great, but um, sushi is kind of expensive. But if I compare it to like what I usually eat, so like this is like seven bucks. Um, it's either that or like hamburgers and this is actually really filling. I always thought that if I got sushi It would never be filling but this is actually a lot of food lots of protein in it, you know fish Rice vegetable all that stuff. So definitely better than like anything else. I would eat um, I actually went on a jog this morning and thought I was going to die I like kept breathing in really dry air. It was awful I'm trying to get back into a routine of things hopefully get the Jeep fixed soon you know, potato, potato, and I'm gonna eat this sushi. And I've been trying to drink more tea stuff than a soda, but I still have soda. I'm trying to cut back though. One step at a time.